Dirty Objects. Toby and Henrietta take the workmen to the quarry every morning. At the junction they often meet James. Toby and Henrietta were shabby when they first came and needed new paint. James was very rude about them. Ugh, ugh, what dirty objects, ugh, what dirty objects. At last, Toby lost his patience. Um, you're James. Why are you red then, hmm? I'm a splendid engine, you see, ready for anything. You never see my paint dirty, oh no. Oh. That's why you once needed bootlaces to be ready, I suppose, hmm? James went redder than ever and snorted off. <laughs> At the end of the line, James left his coaches and got ready for his next train. It was a slow goods, stopping at every station to pick up and set down trucks. James hated slow goods trains. Uh, dirty trucks from dirty sidings. Uh, I hate them. I hate them. I do. There you are. Starting with only a few trucks, he picked up more and more trucks at each station till he had a long train. At first, the trucks behaved well, but James bumped them so crossly that they determined to pay him out. Presently, rumbling over the viaduct, they approached the top of Gordon's Hill. Heavy goods trains halt here to pin down their brakes. James had had an accident with trucks before and should have remembered this. His driver called to him, Wait, James, wait, wait! But James wouldn't wait. He was too busy thinking what he would say to Toby when they next met. All too late, he saw where he was, and he tried to stop. The trucks saw their chance and started to laugh and shout, <laughs> and banging their buffers, they pushed him down the hill. The guard tightened his brakes until they screamed, and the trucks shouted, Oh, 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 James was frightened. I've got to stop. I've got to stop. I've got to stop. I've got to stop. And setting his brakes, he managed to check the truck's mad rush, but they were still going much too fast to stop in time. Through the station they thundered and lurched into the yard. James said, Oh! 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 And shut his eyes. There was a bursting crash, and something sticky splashed all over him. He had run into two tar wagons, and was black from smoke box to cab. James was more dirty than hurt, but the tar wagons and some of the trucks were all to pieces. The breakdown train was in the yard, and they soon tidied up the mess. Toby and Percy were sent to help, and came as quickly as they could. And Toby said to Percy, Um, look here, Percy, whatever is that dirty object there? Any idea? Oh, uh, that's James, Toby. Didn't you know? No, uh, it's James's shape, all right. But James is a splendid red engine, and you never see his paint dirty, do you? Never James dirty, eh? James shut his eyes and pretended he hadn't heard. They cleared away the unhurt trucks and helped James home. The fat controller was there to meet them. Well done, Percy. Well done, Toby. And now you, James. Oh, really. Fancy letting your trucks run away like that. I'm surprised. You're not fit to be seen. You must be cleaned at once. And Toby shall have a coat of paint 
uh, chocolate and blue, I think. Oh, thank you, sir. And please, sir, can Henrietta have a coat of paint, too? Certainly, Toby, certainly. She should be brown, like Annie and Clarabelle. Oh, thank you, sir. She will be pleased. And Toby ran home happily to tell her the news. <laughs>